We are engaged. We are engaged. Finally, to new direction. What we were before that, that's not who we are today. And now we wanted to hop on camera and give you guys a little bit of uh, face info. Face to face. Face to face on where we're at in life yeah. now after the proposal, guys. A lot has changed and there's been a lot of people who have come to the channel, which we appreciate. Mm -hmm. So now you guys get to know us a little bit better. The questions were actually very, very good, so. That's it, let's get into it. How did Zach know it was the right timing? The time is never gonna be perfect. I battled with the question of when I was gonna do it for so long. My dad actually told me the timing would never be perfect. Cause I ran it by him like, hey dad, this is what I wanna do. This is sometime last year. Uh, he gave the example of like, you get in your car every single day, trusting that everything is gonna be fine. Like you're gonna get to your destination. You sit in a chair and you trust that that chair is gonna hold you. If you know, okay, she's the right one. He told me that you just have to trust that when you do make the decision, it will all work out. Cause there's a million different things that can go wrong. There's a million different questions that you can have in your head. So I just had to trust once I got that feeling within me that this is what I wanted to do, that it will all work out. And I think talking to God too helped because there were times where I wanted to do it, where you know he let me know it's probably not the best time for us to take that next step in our relationship. So you just have to constantly listen. And I think by listening and seeking the right counsel, you'll be good to go. How have you both prioritized individual growth and then being able to grow together as a couple? Our individuality was like one of the most important things and like has always been one, one of the most important things because when you get into a relationship very, very young, you still have a lot of self-discovery to do. And when we got together, we were like 16, 17. So like that's very, very, very young. But one of the ways that I prioritize my individuality is that I have like a set goals in my head that like I want to accomplish alone. And then I also have goals that I want to accomplish together with Zach. One of the goals for me, along with building our brand together, I also wanted to build my own personal brand on social media, as well as figuring out my likes, like my dislikes. Like I've done a lot of self-discovery just through doing the pageant, school, and like figuring out what I wanna do with my major, like what job, what career I wanna go into. So that type of stuff, which are like all separate from our relationship. And then on top of that, like developing a plan of like when we wanna move in together, like where I want us to be in the next two, three years, like stuff like that. Me personally, I worked backwards from what I would want my ideal life to look like. And as much as my ideal life had Ashley in it, us and us taking that step to get engaged, my ideal life also revolved around other things that had nothing to do with Ashley. So it's a constant balancing act. Like Ashley did the pageant, I was doing my Ironman and Ashley was doing building her brand and I was building my brand and working with the brands that I wanted. So it was a balancing act of coming together with everything that we've learned to have a better relationship, but then also being able to go back to the things that we have individually and making something happen there. Because you can lose yourself in a relationship if your sole focus is just this other person. So. Right. And I think it's also important that when you are prioritizing your individuality that you have a high level of respect and support for your partner through like that time and mm -hmm. like just understanding like that like, this is a moment for them to learn and grow just as much as it's a moment for like us as a right. unit to learn and grow. Because if that other person wasn't there, you'd probably still be doing that same thing. It just makes it a whole lot better having somebody that supports you along the way. When's the wedding? Uh, probably 2025. Oh, the question is, would your family come from the Philippines for the wedding? The family is not gonna come from the Philippines for the wedding. Figured it might be easier going over there and we just did it. So we kind of know what to expect next time. So yeah, kind of already start to plan ahead. The hide in the ring. The question is, how long did I hide the ring? 35 days, I believe. And I say 35 days, it's like an exact number because from editing the video, I know exactly which day I picked up the ring and like which day I proposed. Mm -hmm. So it was like 33 to 35 days before. And I planned it that way so I didn't have to hold the ring for that long. And I just put it in my closet, but actually couldn't come over at yeah, all. Yeah, I didn't go over to Zach's house for like a month. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, would you have gotten engaged if you weren't influencers? Y'all, nothing me and Zach do, I can't speak for other people, but nothing me and Zach do <laughs> is for content. The content we make revolves around- We have lives outside of social media. Mm -hmm. Well, Ashley works, I work. We do stuff outside of this yeah. or what you see on Instagram. In our generation, do you believe it's possible to find someone who will wait till marriage for you? I think yes. Yeah? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. 
you just have to, like, if you find someone that has the same values as you and, like, you know, the same beliefs as you, I think 100% it is possible. I just would say don't settle for less. If that's what you want, then don't settle for anything less than that. Were the things you wanted to prepare before getting married, finances house? Well, we're not married yet. Well, engaged, yes. And then married, I think it's a new step up for goals. Mm -hmm. But goals in general before getting engaged, yes. It would definitely be finances. I don't think you have to be in the the most perfect position financially, but I do think you have to have some type of grip on your finances and good habits. Yeah. You know how to save money. You know if it came down supporting yourself or your partner, more of yourself, you could do that. And then of course, being able to support your partner would be a bonus, I think by the time you guys actually get married. Staying out of debt, it's a big Staying thing. Staying out of debt is a big so one. So Ashley pays for her school. We pay our credit cards off on times. Mm -hmm. Like we don't take out loans. Like, just building good habits financially. I know what it takes to buy a house. I'm not saying we don't have what it takes to buy a house, but realistically speaking, does it work for us right now? Would it make sense? No, because we have plans to travel next year. We have plans to bounce around. Like We have different plans that don't align with staying in a house for the next 15 to 30 years. So we made it a priority that we were just gonna live with our parents, save our money, and go that direction. So a little bit of an unconventional way of doing things, but it's allowed us to get into a position a little bit faster to be able to do the things that we want to want and get a, a step closer to what we envision our future looking like. Another thing that I wanted to do was for me to like live on my own. So like mm -hmm. right now, like my living situation, like I'm with my sister and we have like a roommate and me and Zach aren't living together right now. And I think that's one piece that I really wanted to have because I wanted to be able to take care of my own space and like be comfortable in like my own company and stuff mm -hmm. like that before I'm living with Zach and we're like, you know, together every single day. Right. What are some framework works that helped you guys? I think our most important framework is communication and just being like very open and like talking about things. Even though that's still something that we can struggle with time to time, I think just remembering and going back to like why communication is important, even though some conversations can be difficult. And in the long run, if you're able to openly talk to your partner, then that makes everything easier. I think communication was one of our biggest framework as well as like faith you know just trusting that God has a plan and that God is the one that's going to keep you grounded and lead you in the right direction so I would say faith and communication and not just the typical approach people would think when we mention faith mm -hmm. I think faith in God that he will keep our hearts where they need to be in order to handle more through hard work life came fast and we've been able to experience things and see big things but I think through the process we've all always been able to keep our hearts pure and be able to do this for the right reasons and to be able to love each other correctly when we say God is is the head of our relationship a lot of it is him being our guidance to having a pure heart, trusting your higher power or mm -hmm. whoever you believe in, and then communication and not being afraid to be wrong or get counseling. Like if you need counseling or a counselor to tell you, hey, you're wrong here, you shouldn't talk to her that way. Get that and be willing to accept that. Because if you can accept the situations that you were wrong in humbly and strive to do better, then I 100% think that relationships can work out for the long term. If you want a relationship to at last, like, long term not only do you have to be like love that person but it's also like a choice a choice to be with them a choice to love a choice to forgive because there is going to be forgiveness you know in that long time period and just the choice that you make to yourself and to the person that you're committing to that i'm in this for the long run i'm gonna do what it takes on my part to be a good person to myself and a good person to you and that they're deciding the same so like when somebody just asked like how did i know that zach was the one i would say i knew within the first couple months because number one like what I felt for Zach, I never felt for anyone before meeting him. And number two, the way that he was so committed to me in the first three, four months, it inspired me to do the same because if someone is showing you like loyalty and honesty and love and genuine, just being a genuinely good person, then it makes you, well, made me want to do the same immediately. And I knew that this is someone that like, I want to be with forever. I want to be with long term. I want to build with, I want to live with, I want to, you know, 
share my life with. So, yeah. <laughs> and you can't teach that. I couldn't beg Ashley to be committed to me. Yeah. When we Just got wait. into it, you can't teach a person to be committed to you. Like Ashley said, it is a choice. So when we got into a relationship at first, at our young age, I wanted to show her, look, I feel like I, we can go through this life thing together. Let's do it. I'm committed to I'm not worried about anybody else. Nobody else matters to me. Like, of course, there's plenty of people in the world, but you're the one I want to commit to. And that's it. But if that other person not showing you that same energy, it's your choice to also leave and disconnect from that because right. that person may not be for you. So we both committed to each other and completely let go, which I think it worked out. Yeah, it worked out. <laughs> I, think so, I think so. How did you decide on the engagement in the Philippines? Because I never like told, I don't think I told that to you. So, but in my head, I always was like, oh my gosh, I hope Zach can propose me to the Philippines. But I never said that to you. So how did you come up with that idea? Uh, you, you really want to know? Yes. All right. I knew I wanted to propose in the Philippines. The first time we went and I was with your grandmother and your grandfather. Mm -hmm. It was the first time meeting them and your grandmother was in the bed and I knew or saw for the first time how much she meant to you. And I, I made a promise to myself in that moment that the next time we're here, like I want her to be able to see me to, cause she was getting to know me for the first time. Mm -hmm. So I made a promise to myself in that moment, hey, this is what I'm feeling. I want her to be able to see me do it here. And I want like her to be there. So I didn't know how it would ever be possible to be able to do that, but I knew I wanted your grandma and your grandfather and your family to be there. Mm -hmm. So I made that promise to myself in 2018. I wanted to keep it. Mm, that's good. Oh, that's nice. So she was there in spirit. She was. When we had went to the Philippines in 2018, my grandma was sick. So she was like very, very bedridden. And she lived here in America for like my entire life. But when I met Zach, that was the year after she moved away. So like moved back home to the Philippines. So when we went there, that was like the first time I'd seen her in like a year and a half. And I was really excited for Zach to see her. And obviously my hope was for her to get better, mm -hmm. but you know, when she did it, it was like, it hit me very, very hard. And like, we ended up going back to the Philippines, like for the funeral and stuff like that. And I was just really, really happy that at least like she got to meet you yeah. because I knew like, even in that moment that like Zach was going to be like, you know, my husband one day. So I, that just made me really happy that she got to meet you. And I made me really happy that you said that because when we went to the Philippines this time, we like went to their gravesite and like Zach had came and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And that was also the first time that we took Lay. So even though they're not here, you can still feel their presence in like their home mm -hmm. and in our family. So um, that's also another reason why we want our wedding to be there because it's like such a special place. Like not just to me, but to Zach too. And like Very changed, special place. It changed our life so much and we want yeah. like... Zach's family and like our friends to all come and like experience it for themselves because it's a life changing trip y'all. It's a life changing <laughs> as we talked about in the video. So for yeah. me it was a promise that I wanted to keep That's to Ashley. Nice. And this channel has been built off of documenting our life through so many different things mm -hmm. since high school. So we've grown into so many different shoes. We've become individuals but we've also grown in our better individuals but we've also grown in our relationship. So I think the next step for this channel is going to be number one making it a priority to film videos and, and post consistently as we're in a better position to do so together now. And number two using our journey and the documentation of our journey to be of value to you. It's really cool to like do vlogs and like say what you're doing, but I think it's better or like I find it better when it's like you're seeing people do it, but then they're, they're also like telling you how I got here and like mm -hmm. sharing their journey. That's what we want to do. So yeah. we've been able to build brands and work with brands and do a lot of cool things mm -hmm. together. So ultimately we want to create a place to where you have inspiration to take any bits and nuggets we drop here and there, relationship, life-wise, family-wise, whatever we're documenting in order to create your reality how you want and, and dream of. And of yeah. course, show you our love. There's gonna be a lot of wedding things. And my bald head. Yeah, y'all. Exactly I shaved changed. my head yesterday. <laughs> Wedding plans too, of it's course. It's gonna be a lot obviously. of wedding planning on here. You know, the the use, the, the use. Trying on the dress, like going to the venues. There's gonna be a lot of traveling on here. Explore the world. Explore the world. Just want to say thank you to everybody who watched the video to the end. 
watched the video at all, mm -hmm. so have supported us through this next step that we've taken in our life. Just support us through the journey. I see all the comments. It's, it's really, it really warms our heart. Yeah, the comments are so sweet when people are saying like, I remember the prom video. Like, yeah. I think it's really, really special and it makes me really happy that there's like people that have stuck stuck with us for like that long. Yep. And I just wish y'all nothing but love and the love, best. Man. And thank you guys. All that. We appreciate it. Love you. Appreciate all of you guys. See you in the next video. Peace.